If your iPhone is getting older, two, three, four years old, you're gonna wanna go through some steps to make sure your iPhone is running as smoothly and as fast as possible. There are a number of different things that I'm gonna walk you through that you definitely want to do and clear out and change in your settings and on your phone itself. Now, let's walk through those. First, we'll just hop into the settings and we'll do a few things in here. The first one we'll do is scroll to the very bottom and you can see apps at the bottom. Tap on the apps. And then let's scroll down until we find Safari on this list. So a big culprit is Safari can quickly balloon out of control with the number of websites you visit, the cache and cookies that are downloaded on your phone and help bog everything down, especially visiting websites. So all we need to do is scroll to the very bottom here and we're gonna tap on advanced at the bottom. And then at the very top, let's tap on website data. This will show all of the website data across every single website you've ever visited. And you can see sometimes this could be up to a gigabyte or more of data. All you need to do is hit remove all website data. And just like that, it will clear out all of that. And especially websites and Safari should run and operate a lot more smoothly. However, that's not the only thing we wanna clear. Let's go back all the way out of here. And you can see right under emergency SOS, let's tap on privacy and security. From here, you can see at the very top is location services, tap on that. And then we'll scroll to the very bottom here. You can see at the very bottom is system services, tap on that. And then again, scroll down until you get to significant locations. Now keep in mind, if you have significant locations turned on, this means your iPhone will track your location all around wherever you go, restaurants that you go to, bars that you go to, friend's house, your house, and it'll keep track of all of that stuff. It uses up a lot of battery, battery but it also slows down your device a lot. So I would recommend turning this off. This isn't really a feature that you need and hitting clear history. After we've done that and cleared out all of those, let's just go back all the way out of here and in the privacy and security, let's scroll to the bottom because at the very bottom are a number of things that are hidden. You can see analytics and improvements, if you have this turned on across all of these, essentially your phone is constantly working in the background to create reports and send them off to Apple, send them off to any other third party developers, app developers, all of these different things. I would recommend turning this off as well as going into Apple advertising, make sure personalized ads is turned off. And then Apple intelligence at the very top, I would recommend turning the report duration to off. Again, on here, you don't necessarily need to share your information and it's using up your phone's resources, your RAM, essentially to send out all these reports to third-party apps and to third-party people. Now, after we've done those things in the settings of your phone, let's hop out of here and we'll do a couple of other things. Let's tap on your messages. And a lot of people forget they, they might have thousands of messages that are not actually deleted on your phone. So let's tap on edit at the top left. And then from here, show recently deleted. You can see here a bunch of different text messages that I have had that I no longer use. I'm going to hit delete all and delete. And just like that, it will delete out all of those text messages that you don't need and you don't use. By going through that process, you've cleared it out. Your messages should run faster. Let's also do that with your photos here. Tap on photos. We'll scroll down until you get to recently deleted under utilities. You might need to use your face ID. And then on here, we'll tap the three dots at the top, right? For some reason that is not working. Let's just hit select. We'll tap the three dots now at the bottom right. And we can just hit delete all and delete all from every device. So again, by going through this process, we've cleared out all of the basically cache or temporary files that we don't use and we don't need on your phone. That's not the last thing though. Let's go back into your settings because the last thing I would recommend doing is going back, tapping on general here towards the top, and then iPhone storage. 
Now, it's really important to see all of the apps that are ballooning out of control in terms of size. You can see YouTube is over a gigabyte here. The app size is only 270 megabytes, but the entire app is taking up over a gigabyte. All I need to do is hit offload this app. And the nice thing is by doing this, offloading it, and then reinstalling it, I'll show you this, the 1.1 gigabytes. Let's go back here and wait until it reinstalls here. And when it reinstalls, you'll be able to see it on this list. It will take up significantly less data. So I can scroll down, let's hit show all, and find YouTube on this list. Sometimes it takes a little bit to reinstall that app, but it'll pop back up on this list and take up a lot less space. For whatever reason, I'm not finding it now. There it is, 337 megabytes instead of over a gigabyte. So again, there's no real easy way to do this in bulk, but you can go through any of these, hit offload app, and then just hit reinstall immediately. And by doing so, you're clearing out all the cache and temporary files that are downloaded onto your device from all of these apps. There are a few apps that you will find that will take up the most amount of space. So just going through the offloading process, then after that, just reinstalling it, again, clears up a lot of space and will definitely improve the speed of your iPhone because it's not bogged down with all of these random files. The last thing I would recommend doing is going back out of here and on the general screen, scroll to the very bottom and hit shut down. Now, this seems simple, but you'd be surprised how many times just turning your phone off, waiting 20, 30 seconds, and then rebooting it fixes a lot of issues, especially if your phone is glitchy or lagging. Again, the iOS operating system could have been running for days or weeks without just a proper reboot. So by rebooting it, you give it a fresh new version of the iOS operating system to be running, and a lot of times, you just going through the process of shutting down and restarting will clear out all of that cache management and reset everything. Again, by going through all of these, your iPhone will run definitely faster, smoother. You won't run into bugs or glitches as much. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys.